So he's like a dog. Can play with anybody and make his team better. He can. He can. He can. It, it depends on what you want. It depends. If I got to pick between the two, it's like 1A, 1B. The difference is MJ ain't going to play without Jack. Let's try this one. Ed'll, 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 Ed'll play with anybody. MJ, MJ and Jack is like a tag team. They don't like to play against each other. They're going to play with each other on the same team. They best friends? Yeah. So other than that, Ed, if Ed come to Slime. if Ed come to hoop, Slime Ed is going to hoop. Slime. Even though he do like to play with Rod too, he'll play with anybody. But MJ, MJ and Jack, they come as a package deal. Man, welcome back to another podcast. Vlog gang, gang talking, gang talking episode 98, man. It's your boy J Stu. Across from me, I got my boy Big 50. Big 50 on God, man. Man, it's Red Cup Saturday. Put your Red Cups up. And today we got a special guest, the Big Bean himself, <laughs> Mr. Ken. What's good, fellas? How y'all doing out there? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. Before the pod started, man, we was having a lot of fun conversations <laughs> at my expense, <laughs> sadly. But you know you know how it goes, gang. All, all I know is Ken said he like himself over you. How's everybody's day going? <laughs> He's trying to instigate, but I'm ignoring. Yo, so how's your, how's your day going, bro? I'm good, bro. All right, Big B. Man, just, you know, I got a lot of errands, took care of all that, and uh, we're here in the podcast. t Row at the producer desk. Gang, gang, gang. You already know what the Tomorrow. going on, man. Yes, sir. But, you know, I just been staying positive, staying motivated. Fuck, nigga. Y'all boys know my speech because y'all been tapping in. For sure. So, man, we had some fun conversations. I'm not going to go too crazy. We just going to get right back into what we was talking about. There it is. Man, now I got to put mm. this out in the universe and the atmosphere and oh, everything yeah. like that. Man, come on. Man. <laughs> what you think, Ken? <laughs> the, the question ain't one-on-one. The question is just who's better. Who's better? Oh, we could do this by consensus. <laughs> who's picking you first over me? I'll I, wait. I am. I'm you picking myself. Yourself. <laughs> hey, hey, Trent, who you picking, me or Ken? Hey, he got to go home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, just because I'm going to have to hit us all week, I'm going to go with Jay Stu. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a disclaimer. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. We're going to put some other. Who you like, EJ or, EJ or Stay Stu, Trent? Like we already that. know he going to say EJ. Hey, look, man, that's a tough one, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just say on, on a good day, I like J. Stu. On, on a good day. On a good day. On a good day. If you locked in. If I'm locked in. If I'm locked in. What do you think? EJ. EJ. <laughs> hey, hey, Trent. Hey, Trent, bro. I rock with you, bro. You my dog. Bro. You see, this is the, we not even out here with the truth. <laughs> oh, you my dog, so I'm going to say this. Yo, y'all boys. Y'all boys in this. Y'all in cahoots. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, Listen. Bro, like you said earlier, I'm strong as an ox. EJ right. skinny. All he got over me is hustle and hops. And he hustle and hops. And he got a jumper. If I'm in his face the whole time, no. Then he gonna blow by you. Yeah, he gonna yes sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, he get up there. I'm at to pick my poison on certain on certain That's regards. That's a lot of poison, my boy. <laughs> A lot of poison. Hey, we gotta set this up. Don't hurt yourself, man. Right now. Are you calling them right now? No, I say call him right now. I'm calling him right now. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, my boy. He might not even pick up the phone. Oh, uh, he might not. He's still waiting on his highlights. Oh, what's up, bro? You must be calling me about my video. I don't know why you called. I already told the podcast you was gonna be this ignorant, nigga. We was talking. We was having a quick discussion, bro, about a one-on-one, me versus you. Why is this even a discussion? <laughs> <laughs> hey, put you passing the phone. Hey, EJ, hold on. hey, yo, EJ, this is Ken. Yo, what's good, my boy? Where you been, man? I exactly. I said <laughs> I never see EJ play like in a year and without a without a, even a hezzy. I said EJ all day. I see that. I, told him, I ain't got no slime for them boys to say nothing about me on the podcast. <laughs> Yo, this nigga said that boy heard him drinking that slime. Hey. Duh. Hey. Hey, EJ, you seen me play, right? If you're going to pick, first pick, me or Jordan, who? 
<laughs> you see how I got quiet? Damn. How I got quiet? Go ahead. It's not against Jordan. It's just Jordan's game is just not organized, bro. Jordan's game is not organized, bro. Damn, bro. We just played. We just went, <laughs> we just went five below the other day, nigga. I'm hurt, bro. You and your feelings. We talk about, we talk about your overall game. Nah, but look, I got you the passes when you need it. Remember, hey, look, look, remember look, look. how smooth the offense was when I was looking up, bro. Remember, we're talking about overall game. Listen, you talk about one day. This nigga gotta be a superstar. He gonna do what he do, and, and that's that. There's nothing more to it. You, you, you gotta prove something every time you out there. Duh. Am I lying, EJ? Why is this even a question? This is this a question? Why is this even a question? Listen. I ain't trying to break up nobody friendships. I just wanted to be honest. So you gonna record the next time you and EJ go at the court? Definitely. All right. I'm taking it personal now, EJ. Just don't, know. Hey, don't Watch hurt EJ and, and injure him. No. All right. Why you think I'm trying to hurt niggas? He said, yo, I'm gonna take this personal. Like this was Karate Kid. Like, hey, come here. I was sliding my feet, bro. Yeah, I was. He do more. See, more, look, bro. look, he see, do a little bit more. see, and I ain't want to come on a podcast to do all this, you know. But no, it's if okay. If we're going to talk about coaching and strategy, it's about the IQ of the game. We've all had this politics already, so I think it's really about the fundamentals of the game, yeah, and the IQ of the game. No one want to shift. No one want to move. No one want to do certain things on the court. It's not just about the athleticism. All right. So hold on. When you came out the other day, right? Because it's been a while. I remember when I saw you again. You talking about Monday? This Monday or the or the time that I didn't get to play that day and I just like was chopping it up with y'all? Monday. Did you see me play at all Monday? I was on the other court. Yeah, you didn't get to see me play. I didn't see you play, me play. <laughs> yeah. I was playing against Coyote and, and then everybody else. Oh, okay. And so see, the Monday when the Monday when you came, you didn't get to play, right? Did you see, you saw me play, right? Nah, I, see, I came yeah. at the end. Oh, so you didn't get to see the little improvements that I've, I've changed in my game. Change in your game is the fundamental, it's the all-around game we're talking about. You're talking about it. Your skill set about shooting the ball, shooting like I have reading my head the up, defense. passing, reading the defense, reading, reacting, all of that. That's, that's what I'm doing a little bit more. It's about now. the IQ, but you're, but you're not gonna beat nobody that that's been doing this. It's just gonna take more time, you know. The nigga that's been doing this, you're not gonna, you're not gonna. I'm saying you're not gonna beat him, bro. We're gonna have to get Big Fifty, saying, out, there. Big 50 out there. We're gonna have to get Big Fifty out of retirement. We got to get Big 50 out of retirement, dog. Uh, nah, Big 50 came and dropped the three uh, at 24 one time. I'm sure Ken felt the same way after you took your time off, right? Man, oh, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You see all the way that game, bro. I'm just getting back. I'm just trying to get back into... Hey, into Ken, I need your help, bro. We oh. need to help motivate this nigga right here. This nigga needs assistance. Nah, he don't I, I feel like if we join the big boy program where we get child boys <laughs> right together... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Who, this who, nigga won't Big Boys Club. Personal training right now. <laughs> he training, you know, you put <laughs> Look like we're going to have to do some type of, uh, if you put me out there to, to do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and do the basketball camp with you then. But, yeah, nah, both of <laughs> you. Nah, this is how we can work it. Y'all help me get better at basketball. That's and what I'm help, talking about. Camp. And I help y'all lose some weight. We, let's, can let's, we can arrange this shit up at City Park. That way the, the court's right there and we All can right, do right, some right. laps. All right, lock it. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. Listen, this, this nigga think I'm playing. I'm starting a group chat right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, bet. I can't do it with you like that. Like, nah. But it's, I'm, I'm not going to take it serious. That's the problem. I don't Can't know. A, See, what, what is wrong with him? Why won't you no, take it serious? Yeah. It's like that one homeboy that when your homeboy is doing it, you don't want to do it. But yeah. as soon as you see, as soon as you see, as soon as you fucking see Debo, uh, they you're like, oh, Debo training niggas? <laughs> it's like, come on. I see what you're saying. But yeah, here see you we like are doing bro. the same yeah, shit. He see you like little bro. It's he's a, bro shit he look like you like. It's real, I don't like it, but that's what it is. It's, it's funny. Like oh, so he trying to little bro me? It's kind of crazy. I'm not trying to little bro you. I'm just saying like, like man, my little brother telling me to do some shit. Like, all right. So Ken, hearing that, how did you? What was the first couple of thoughts that crossed your mind about what? About the little bro thing. I'm the one who said it. But as you're hearing him like articulate his thoughts on it, what do you think? 
Well, I'm just saying he he look at you like little bro, so he might not take you as serious. That's that's what I'm saying. That's why I said little bro, because sometimes when your little brother telling you to do something, you're like, man, I'm your older brother, man. Like you listen to me, I don't listen to you. <laughs> not like that, not like but that. that's like in, that. in that and you, in that sentiment in that sense, though. Yeah. It, and this is common in the black community, bros. Not because it's black. I feel like, I feel it's like, just, I feel like it's a mostly black thing, no, bro. Yeah. Because black people be looking at niggas like, oh, you a young buck. You can't tell no, me. If Rod right now, like, bro, I train you, I will, I will, if for free, I will train with Rod. I don't know him. Ain't no bias. Ain't no <laughs> on that note, yeah. on that note, <laughs> Jordan is out, nigga. No, hey, Rod, by the way, Rod, no, no hate to you, Rod. I love everything no, you're doing, you know, bro. You know yeah. Keep going. I'm somebody I don't know. I'll tell you the reason why he's not comfortable with it. Because you see, I know his situation. I literally come in and I see this nigga every day. What he eats. So you don't want him to hold like him for you to hold him accountable. He's not comfortable with the idea that I'm always gonna be able to hold him accountable. Okay. Yes. Because when I came and I gave you that speech that one time, bro, I had a one speech about him taking care of his health, living that long for his crazy. kids and that shit. Is, that, is that nigga was motivated, bro. No, we is. had that nigga at the park doing laps. Yeah. Come on, man. It's, it's not, God has nothing to do with joy, right? It it's hard to not to take it personal, bro. I cannot, I don't know if I can get motivated off of you like that. You know what I'm saying? In that way. I already had you motivated once. And this, yeah, like yeah, the, podcast. the podcast. Yeah. But as far as you training me, telling me what to do, it's not personal at all. And, so, and some people like to, to separate things. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like to mix business with pleasure. Some people don't like to mix business with family or mm -hmm. other certain things. They like to keep it that way so then that way the relationships don't get strained. Relationship in reference to the podcast. <clears throat> We've been in it too and I just like stop doing what I'm doing. That might irritate bro. Or vice versa. Saying then that could put a strain in your relationship in other areas. Yeah. Now I start coming at him about working out when we should be focused on the podcast. And sometimes it's best not to like to put all that together. Like some family members can't work together because they can't separate business and family. Especially somebody might not feel like they could be under somebody else. Like I'm the boss and you working for me. Like who are you telling? Like you ain't my boss. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it's like that, but. Like sometimes the, the the dynamic, the power dynamic of the relationship it changes it. Yeah, changes the whole relationship. Yeah, that, I went I went through that. I went through that a couple of times too. That's, that's what, you know what I'm saying? This yeah, is, this is what he's good at. Facts. Not saying he's not good at training. You know, it's so funny. I, I I always do this comparison. Like, okay, I was in a relationship and I used to try to have my girl do like business we used to try to do business. And what used to fucking annoy me was when it's time for her to go to work, get up on time. Ready? Yeah. Never late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good but account. then now I'm here setting up to do my business. Now I'm like, all right, baby, we need to do some photo shoots uh, and da da da. She's uh, like, yeah. She'll tell me Monday. Yeah. Then Saturday comes, dragging her feet, late as fuck. I'm there at the spot waiting. She coming like thirty minutes late. Like, bruh, mm -hmm. you got to treat it like work. You're in the business with me. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. Power dynamics. Mm -hmm. Like. <clears throat> If you get on a team and this yeah. person was already the captain of the team, mm -hmm. you already bought in. Whatever that person say, go. If you was already an entrepreneur and doing your thing and she already knew that was the program and she already knew what she signed up for. Exactly. To grow and develop, she didn't see you in that light initially. It, she so saw now, me as just that nigga. So you know, yeah. like they say a prophet is without honor, right? So in his own hometown. So sometimes people don't accept you where you come from. Somebody on the outside could see you differently. Hey, ain't that Jordan? Ain't that Jay do that man? Well, I used to be beating him up when he was over. Now he telling me to do something, man. I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. How people meet you is how they treat you. Facts. That's it's simple. You go ahead and try to rebrand yourself later, but I already met you like that. Exactly. Make me change my perspective of you when I already done made my whole. I seen you like this already. To add into what you're saying, in order to fix that, you would have to show them continuous stimulus of this new change for them to accept it. This, this, I'm, is, I'm just, this is a good example of that. Tell yeah. me why. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Wait, there's more. This the nigga. Ongoing story. This story comes up every, every podcast. Y'all might Bro. know it by now. Yo, listen. Y'all tag in the comments below when the story first started, yeah, please. Yeah, but like with me and this nigga, man, he first met me. I was, me and Trent were in 10th grade, right? Always hanging out. 
And then one day I'm like, yo, let me slide over your house. We was already smoking and all that shit. So I'm like, all right. First of all, we had to take a long ass walk to get to his house. The bus dropped us off at Lauder Hill Mall. Yeah. And we had to walk from Lauder Hill Mall all the way to his crib. Yeah. So imagine you do all that. You get there. We playing basketball outside. I see this nigga come outside the door. First thing I think, okay, I'm going to be respectful. That's an adult. I go up to him to greet him. He looks at me. He's like, Trent, man, where you getting these duck ass jits from, bro? I was like, yo. I felt like I didn't even know what to say, bro. I was quiet. Like, you froze. You froze. <laughs> he's supposed to be an adult. Like, I, I thought we were supposed to be on some respect shit. <laughs> Nigga, you was 20 years in your 20, bro. But. Well, Listen, you gotta understand the perception. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I was 16 at the time, so yeah. I was raised in a way. You gotta understand, I was raised in a way like I know. Looking at hood niggas now, like kids, 15, 16, they don't got no fucking respect for, for no nobody. Adult. Nigga, I was 25. What? Was? So yeah, but that's the already seeing that. Already seeing that. I came from a different background than what he was already. Yeah. Used to. So he called me a duck ass. I took that personal. I remember, like, I think he still got that. No, I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. Allegedly, no, I let it go. Because it no. come up every time, so <laughs> that's why. Still hey, no look, <laughs> look, down the side. Yo, this EJ conversation we had earlier ain't gonna go away no no time soon. Never. Come so up, we got the basketball court. You still think EJ better than me? Oh, you pick EJ first. Ten years later. Ten years later. Bro, kids in a stroller. You think EJ still better? <laughs> so I already know what time it is. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, bro. Um, no, nah, as far as me and 50 go, 50, no, bro. Like, it ain't even like no personal beef no more. Me and this nigga was on the phone for three hours before we got here. And it was on some editing. Like, he gave me an idea. And I held him hostage. I was like, yeah. yo, you can't get off the phone now, nah, nigga. I got to finish this idea. <laughs> he hold everybody hostage. Yo, <laughs> no, but you got to understand, I'm not on the phone like that. Like, I'm not a phone ass yeah. nigga. I'll call you. I'm not texting. We both know I'm not texting. We both know I'm not texting. Even the text, Ken, that was just because this is business. I was yeah, just like, I told him my head, like, this business. Let yeah, me get yeah, that yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. But, like, on a and real. I showed up on time like it was business. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody want to throw the shade on me. I'll hey, you got the phone. shades on today. You can take it. <laughs> you right. I got the hater rays on. You got but it on today. I'm hiding that shit. <laughs> no, but um, back to what we were saying. Yeah, bro. Listen, the whole time me and this nigga has been doing this podcast, it's just been constant motivation. When I really held him up, he knew it because we weren't moving how we were moving now. It was almost like arm's length type shit. Like yeah. I talked to him, and respectful type shit, and I just keep it pushing. Yeah. And like he couldn't call me and I'd actually answer the phone because I'd probably look at the phone like, what the fuck this nigga want? No, I know you wasn't going to call me, <laughs> but back then it wouldn't even be like I'd answer because I'd think, what the fuck do we got to talk about? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now that's how you know like, He's changed. I seen the maturity in him. And then to be honest with me, it took me growing. Like, I learned how to joke with this nigga. Yeah. Before I used to take everything so personal. Not just him, but Jordan's learned how to stop taking things personal. Because we used to crack on Jordan. Jordan couldn't, <laughs> Jordan couldn't take them hits. He had to like, this is new. We be clowning no. Jordan all the time. <laughs> yeah, he right. So he relaxed. Yeah. Until he relaxed, the Jordan be like, "What you mean by that?" Like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, learning yeah. how to that's, laugh. That's why now. I'm so hard on him, bro. I shouldn't take shit so seriously, bro. Yeah, fuck with yeah, else. yeah, yeah. Be light yeah, with it, yo. You know what? I'm taking my ball. I'm leaving. No, what? he'll be mad. Yeah, that boy ran to the house. Be mad, like yo, y'all boys, man. I'm gone, bro. Oh, it, it probably had to be some disrespectful <laughs> shit. Because I'm not gonna lie, there would be times where yeah, like it got heated. He didn't it, it, it used to get heated at 24. <laughs> I remember one time I came and it's like nobody wanted to pick me up for a game. And I'm like, yo, y'all niggas really think y'all like that? Y'all niggas playing inside a fucking gym. Like I'm, I started going off. He started with him. going off. Like <laughs> and, then, and then Jordan want to be picked before me. Hey, and Jordan gonna be picked before hey, me. Hey, hey, bro, you gotta put that meme on that. <laughs> Jordan got mad one time, took his rock, said, yo, I'm gone. Like, he ain't like what them boys said to him on the court. Who's playing with Jordan? Jordan, I'm taking my rock. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I don't even remember that shit. Because Jordan had a good rock, too. He had a good rock. So we knew. He like, damn, Jordan got the good ball. <laughs> so we got to that nigga the the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
You got to win some to lose some. Nah, them boys needed a ball that day. They needed a ball that day. They a ball? Nah, Jordan got that ball with a JD on it. Yeah. I had a... Like, oh, y'all ain't gonna pick me up? Oh, y'all can't play with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my rock. Give me my rock. Right I'm Come taking on. my shit. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gone, bro. Yo. Yeah, nah, but That's it had to. Hilarious. I had nah, to. But Joe needs to get into heated arguments, bro. Nah, yeah. shit, at different. 24, though. At 24. Nigga, I was definitely got in the room with the little cocky nigga, bro. So you gotta watch who you're around, boy. You do that shit with me around, I'll be, be ready, bro. Like, I'm just here quiet. I don't know. And but you know, we we really. I would hope I have to look out because I'm looking. We won't even let nothing really happen to Jordan, man. So about like when I'm out, he argue with nigga. I'm looking like we the same crew for years. So for years, yeah, 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 yeah. I already yeah. really hoop like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but I mean, when when it comes to like even. Me and Ken have had our disputes sometimes, yeah. but it's never like it's never like deep. <laughs> he be poking, bro. <laughs> you see oh, how what? he try to start something? <laughs> no, when Ken wants to win, it becomes very apparent. This nigga is very physical, <laughs> and then when you get physical with him, he's like, "Oh, you want to play like that? Oh I yeah, got something for that." Look, I play. Look, I don't play dirty. I don't play dirty. <laughs> yeah. I play big, but I don't play dirty. Yeah. Once I see a dude switch up on me, oh, all right. And he playing like that, like that? I said, okay, say less. Oh, you want to play like that? <laughs> Queens. Yeah. 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 Nah, I'm from Queens. Nah, I'm Queens is nice. Queens. That's where 50 from. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. 50 cent. <laughs> you from North? Huh? Now, that's Queensbridge. I'm from Queens Village. Oh, Queens Village. You miss New York compared to living here in Florida? I'm good now. But at, at first, yeah, it was, it was it's a little slower here. Hey, we got to have a conversation. I, I don't give a fuck. We got to Yeah, let's do it. Listen, I hate when niggas come from New York. New York's so much better than... Take your pussy out back to New York. Nobody ain't tell you to come. I've been here for a good, like, 20 plus years. And, and the thing is this, is when I had kids and I got married mm -hmm. and I went back up north with them, I was like, I couldn't do it because they were born in Florida. And yeah. I was like, I... I, so and I didn't realize I had PTSD. It's a jungle. Oh, the shit. stuff the kids see, for us just to, to move from here to here, we're taking a train. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You probably got a homeless dude right here on the train with you. What? You got people selling stuff right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. Right? You got people twerking on the train. You got dudes doing breakdance shows on the train. You got people playing music. All of that on the train. Mm -hmm. You can't hide nothing. And you might have a crazy motherfucker on that bitch. And then, at, so so look, so when I went back up there, we, we did a short stint up in New York for about like mm -hmm. six months. And my yeah. daughter was in kindergarten at the time. And when I was up there, I was like, nah, I got to get him out. I moved yeah. to Ohio, but I was like, I got to get him out. Because, yeah, if you're in Cleveland, you got some parts. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere got that part. You know, I could see me being from Florida. I just don't see, like, the crowd. And I don't see it. <laughs> yeah. You see, used to seeing it. Just like yeah. a person up Pretty north. Pretty much, yeah. They used to seeing, like, like when I was growing up, and I spoke to other dudes, random people what that. What they call that shit? Buck 40? Yeah. yeah, with the blade. They give you a cut, slice your face slice open. Your face open. Yeah. Right? A buck 50. What? So, yeah. shit. You got to understand, back then, when I was growing up, they didn't let you carry. They, people didn't have, like, Florida is a red state, so you mm. could. You could own guns, yeah. but up north, yeah. right? Up north, they made sure in the New York City area, they used to do street sweeps. People used to be at, at the corner stores, the bodegas, and they would rush them. So the cities used to have no guns technically because they used to lock people up and do random rushes, random searches. And if they found a gun on you, you're going to Rikers or you're going to certain jails. So they did it like that. So people were creative in their crime. They got... Um, razor blades. They got knives. You know, they'll shank you. You know Ugh. what I'm saying? They got other ways of hurting you where there's no gun involved, which is more brutal. Like somebody who live in London, you know what I'm saying? They don't have guns, but you'll get cut. They'll cut oh, you open with knives in London. I, 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 shank you. A lot of cut. And, and before we was like, when I was younger growing up, it was all hands. Was all That's what I'm saying. Hands. We're just throwing hands, ain't no blade, no nothing. All hands. Like, old heads, old heads always has some type of no, shank. It was had some type of shank in their in their shoe or something like that, and they pull out. Oh nah, yeah, I mean, but like, my uncle used to always talk about his time in jail. He used to always he, to walk around with a toothbrush. He yeah. sharpened it on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so that's that's your that's your protection. And you get close enough, and you shank somebody. But, but my experience between New York and Florida 
it's it's an adjustment period because when you in New York, when I grew up, it was this ego trip. Like if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So the mindset, the the ego in New York had, had, they felt like they represented the United States. They didn't feel like they represented. New York. They felt like they represented the whole United States. Hell yeah. yeah. And but the, New York is the, the ego, fashion the mogul. Is, the no, ego. New York, New, New York is the city of fashion, bro. It's like fashion it's starts it's there. No, 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 for real. That, listen, I don't Wall care. Street every So them. why would they not their head not be up there? Yeah, though? but they come down here to us country boys. They just think, <laughs> they just think oh yeah. It's it's like that for every city, right? But I think New York has had a has you know has that bigger ego. Like, and it's not, look, this is the funny part. See, I can grow up in Queens, but a Brooklyn dude when I was growing up wouldn't mm -hmm. rock with a Queens dude that easily or a Harlem dude that easily. Mm. But when you come out of the city, oh, we, all from New York. we all from New York, so we all family. So it's like, oh, where you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, what side you from? You from this side? And then we'll just link up and we'll be homeboys. But if you go back to the city, it's like, I don't know you. You on your side of town, I'm on my side of town. <laughs> Facts. Yo. <laughs> That's bro. That's how big the ego is, bro. I was at Long Island. Yeah, I was at Long Island. This is back in high school, eleventh grade. Yeah, Long yeah. Island's not one of the cities. Yeah, we went. I know, I know. This is how I found out about this. <laughs> tell, tell you how I found out about this, right? Staten I, Island and Long Island are not. Oh no, Staten Island is, but Long Island. Long, Sta Sta Long Island, Island don't the count. Yeah, that's the redheaded stepchild. You know, Long Island's not though. Staten Island is. So ahead. it was like. It was like my 11th grade year, right? I leave school, right? And they basically was like, all right, yo, we're going to New York, spend yeah. some time with family. Mm -hmm. I go up, my family's in Long Island. So I'm like, oh, yeah, we lit. Because I, I went to Brooklyn when yeah. I was a child. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to be lit, get some hoes, vibe out. Bruh, not when I got York, there, so when I got there, that yeah. shit looked so suburban. And That's why like, it's not the Fuck, city. It's a suburb. boring. Yeah. So I'm here with my dog. He's like, yeah, bro, don't worry, bro. We're going to Brooklyn. <laughs> So I'm like, all right, we going we gonna to find some, we going to yeah. find some vibes. So he's like, yeah, we're going to find some vibes. We're going to have a good time. So fly fast forward now, it's nighttime. We go to Brooklyn. We had to catch a train, Yeah. which course. we had to deal with a fucking crackhead on the train mm -hmm. who kept pestering us for $5. You going to get that. That's not Bro, I was Bro, like. If you pay attention <laughs> to that, you can start off with a 10 in your 10 singles. <laughs> Yeah. You go to work and come back, you'll be gone by the amount of people that ask you for money. And they're creative though. They're creative they're with creative. it. They're creative. They sing, come up with all type of stories. Dance, they'll give you stories, everything. You're like, good dog. Here you go, man. Like <laughs> Life in New York. <laughs> bro, there's some people they play music on the side of the subway. Hey, listen. They bro. do whatever hey, they got. I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna finish up. So it's like we was on the train. We get we get to the spot now. We get to Brooklyn. So I'm like, after having to deal with all that, I end up giving that crackhead twenty dollars <laughs> because I gave him five, and then he said he lost it. See, he he got twenty five, bro. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? I just wanted him to leave me alone. If this will get him to leave me alone, I'm gonna do it. So we get to the spot now, and like we going around the vibes, and now I'm like, all right, cool. Like couple bad joints. But you know how the Brooklyn girls are. They they very like attitude. Attitude yeah. and they only gonna fuck with a nigga from their area. No, I did not know not this. I think I probably No, 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 bro. This is, this, this is this is this is twenty thirteen. This is twenty thirteen. This is twenty thirteen. Like, 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 yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Now I'm it's like now they're more open. Now they're way more open. So back then now, like I'm talking about this is 2012, 2013. So it's like we talking to the vibes. The vibes is like, yo, where you from? So me, I know I can't tell them I'm from Florida. They gonna be like, hmm? Florida? They, they, they know where you ain't from down with you, how you address it, dude. Accent. I always had Tim's. I always had Tim's. Nah. It's not your accent, nah. No. Fuck the Tim's. It's the accent. They it's how you rock the Tim's. Yeah. Too, it could be. It could have been. All, yeah. of that, all the above. Nah, I rocked them 2003. Bit the tongue lipping out with the, the laces loose as fuck. Come on. Now nah, you know I know some they, shit. They heard, they heard, they heard, they heard, they Yo. They're like, man, this nigga broke them. <laughs> <laughs> you wildin'. You wildin'. Nah, B. Uh, so I'm talking to the girl. She's like, oh, nah. He's like, you're not my type. So I was like, huh? What you mean? She's like. I could tell, like, you, you, you're not from here. I was like, I was like, nah, I, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm from here. I'm from Long Island. I just came on my cousin. She was like, oh, yeah, you bet. You, that's the worst place you should have said. 
And then she just walked off, gave me no explanation. <laughs> I was like, what? So I went up to my boy. I said, yo, you got luck with that last chick? And he's like, yeah, don't tell them you come from Long Island, bro. <laughs> you got to tell them you come from, like, Staten Island. But I said you come from Florida, bro. <laughs> 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 bro, listen, bro. No, real talk. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. Aggressive. I could mad pass. We're gonna be like, we don't give a fuck. You can be aggressive. They ain't gonna bother us. They like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they like that it doesn't move yeah, us. They don't bother you. You know, not bother Cause you. eliminate that they're really aggressive though. It's just the way that they're very direct. They tell you exactly how they get down. They tell you they're very direct. So for another dude who's not accustomed to girls who be a little bit more like indirect you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. they be like nah i ain't feeling that and they'll let you know but it, it's just how she talks she's like you want some drink nah i'm good and she'll just talk like that yeah. talk with her face and her hands and all yeah. that and you looking at her like yo what's up with her but she's cool she's like no, she's no, chilling but, but no, yeah because i'm not cussing them out that day. Yeah. no matter what they do they just they're making me laugh i'm just laughing like you nah i feel that so Ken, let me ask you, what, what, what's your favorite type? You still like the New York? Oh, are man, you are you like the Florida? You like the slow motion? I mean, I got kids already, man, and uh, I'm in the situation ship. But in reference to um the types, now I think I like more country girls. Like you used to like them aggressive, and now I used you like to say that is that it's more simplicity. Like I don't have to dress a certain way or like like some some country girls. Like for me, they don't I'm care a, about the material. Pace, like some things that, okay, I, when I was living in the, in, in the Midwest for a little bit, I started realizing they like the blue collar worker. Oh, where, where in the Midwest? Like in Ohio, Nebraska too. But um, damn, boy, white people alone. Man, look, <laughs> it gave me, it gave me, yeah, the, the corn huskers. <laughs> but there was something that I learned that see, when you grow up in the city, I grew up in New York City. I was in Miami. We used to fast pace. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Quick, bustle. Right? Hustle, bustle. And, then, and then what you used to is flash. Like, oh, you look. When I went to the Midwest, I start something different. They like a dude with an F-150. They like the blue collar guy. The blue collar guy that I used, we used to probably look down on doing construction and labor mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, right? he's well liked. Everybody loves him because he's able to help them out with their everyday activities. And that that mm -hmm. they valued more. Yeah, they didn't care for the city slicker. Yeah, right. They yeah. cared more about the dude that's like, "Yo, you good with your hands? Can you do this? Can you do that?" See things differently. Yeah, because I was so used to like, "Yo, man, I I could sell. I'm a, I'm good with my words. I could." Da, da, da. Yeah, it made me look at those type of women differently. I remember this girl saying, "Ooh." I got me a trucker, girl. And you looking at them like, it's a trucker. But, but for them, it was a big thing. It's a big thing. Because they know the money he was bringing in. They value the type of work that he was doing. They didn't look down on they the man. Appreciated. They appreciated it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, when you got somebody who's so focused on materialism and the way their lifestyle is, and they got to be so upscale about everything, yeah. compared to a chick who's like, yo, Whatever you give me, I can make, you know, whatever you need. Like, you give me the ingredients, I can make you dinner. Right? Yeah. No, no, I'm just giving you an example. Like, you give her the, she'll figure it out. Compared to, like, I think sometimes city, we're so caught up in how other people perceive us. For sure. 100%. Right? People who live in a smaller town, smaller pace, they're more family oriented. I think with the city life, everything moves so fast. Yeah. That you don't appreciate nobody, even us. When you slow it down and then understand, like, right, everything could be so much worse. And we we don't even need all this stuff. Unnecessary. Facts. We're ODing it, really. Facts. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's to like to get approval of people that's Who don't not even, even care? happy with them fucking selves. Facts. Bro. Who don't even care about us? The fuck don't care about us. They don't care they about themselves. themselves. They got nothing to prove, bro. bro. That's why bro. I why I just stop giving a fuck what people think. You gonna say whatever. You gonna you're gonna think that whether you gonna think whatever you want to do, no matter what I say. I can't change the perception because what that's what you that's what you that's how you took it out of the game. Still goes back full circle to what Ken said what? about me, not taking things so personal. Yeah. yeah, that's what it all is at the end of the day, man. People are gonna have their own opinions, and it's for you to realize that that is just your opinion. As long as I know what actions I'm going to take, and I don't let what you say defeat me. 
then I'm winning. And it's funny, a person in the country might want a city person because mm-hmm. they might want to speed up their life. They might feel like they're living too of slow. Of a, we like, always want to look to where we think the we grass is going to be greener. But sometimes we just need balance, right? Like you got the masculine and feminine. Like fighting dudes, you don't want to go home and fight your lady. No. Nah. Right? You want to go home to like something peaceful. Her rubbing my head and telling me how how much of her day is. Like even though I don't care, I just hear about it so I can be like, oh yeah, baby, that sounds nice. But time's <laughs> trash, right? Because you got to go outside and be a go-getter, go get the bag, go get this money. You want to yeah. go home and you want to chill. You want to relax. Contrast. Yeah. So sometimes being in, the, in a city life, you probably would start wanting to like slow down to the country life to be like, yo, man, maybe let me get a couple cows. Say so you got a farm? He say do that shit like half a year, bro. He make- yeah, because, bro, when you're, when you're a farmer, you get local distribution with all the major wholesale markets in, the, in America. Tax write-offs, too. What? Whole Foods. You get put cows on the land, right? And it's tax deductible. So because now they're livestock on the land, you're, yeah. not, mm-hmm. you're not being taxed as regular land like you're like residential oh shit so you get a different type of hey montana dog. here i come wyoming we got florida here there's a lot of land you think there's some yeah shit. north florida is a lot of land lot bro of... you ever just drive and just see all this fucking land and cows and shit you want to look you go yeah for sure. mm. let's go to orlando go. take the turnpike and just go through mm. you know what i mean yeah okay I didn't I'd actually that's something I can do my research into. I didn't know about that. Yeah, do your homework. I'm doing my do homework. homework. Hey Ken, before we close up though, I want you to leave the, the guest, our viewers, with something. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned throughout your twenties? <laughs> hey, like? what hey, what's the number one rule I always tell y'all boys at the court? It's gonna sound foreign. I don't, I don't know that one. Know your personnel. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's his number one saying yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. no, it's personal. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, my yeah. number one saying. Yeah, and that's it with everything because mm-hmm. it's gonna be in different stages of your life, and whoever you dealing with, you gotta know your personnel. Mm. It, and 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 so when we playing basketball, if I know that man, this dude is he he doesn't catch the ball right, so I know I gotta pass him the ball a particular way. If I know that this dude is not gonna rotate, I gotta pick up for him. I gotta know who's on the court with me. But in life, too, is the same thing. Like, if you with a lady, you got to study her patterns. You got to know your personnel. Because mm-hmm. you might be asking something of her that she's not good at. So you got to know your personnel, man. Because I think you got kids or you got a lady, you got whatever people you're dealing with. You got to know what their capacity is, bro. You got to really know your personnel. So I think that's really what it is for me. For sure. No, that's that's powerful right there. I like that. I like that. Yeah, no, I agree with it. Because, you know, in life, I say that a lot of people think I'm so smart. But I think smart is a way of... This cat, boy, I tell you. No, I'm just telling you. based on. I'm just going based on what people say. Okay. Do I agree? It's neither here nor there to me, (laughs) to be honest. I don't actually... Who is saying these things? Yeah, I don't know. But go ahead, Michael. Smart, but it, it don't process fast. But once you process yeah. it, yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a slow, I got a slower processor. Yeah, I can no, say that. Handle. Yeah, handle. because it cook longer in the pot. That's, that's what I've, I've decided. No, Nigga said slow cooking. No, <laughs> I can't deal with Ken. <laughs> Y'all done brought the wrong guess on the pot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> slow cooking and fry. He cooked that shit on the outside too <laughs> fast. <laughs> the inside ain't cooked it up yet, brother. Sure, I say what's on my mind, whatever comes. Nah, but yeah, but you might not. <laughs> nah, but if if I could add on to what Ken is saying towards yeah. the end there, like it's very important that you pay attention to the people around you, your family, your friends, because if you don't, you can end up losing people around you, bro. Like I, I've slept on people plenty of times because just because I didn't notice their intricate value in my life yes and then the moment that you do it's already like all right i'm off i'm they gone slept on me, bro. no no they no slept i want to tell about this slept on me, bro. <laughs> this slept nigga want to make it by him That's, hey, on that note hey, he tried man to we out wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. he tried to boot wait, 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 wait. <laughs>